your lives now. Yeah. Stop being yes men. Stop being plastic. God give you your own mind. Use it. Be yourself. Be real. And you'll be a better person inside. And you can look in the mirror and sleep at night. Amen. <laughs>
49.95 or 25 quid or 495 it's 50 pound 50 spot so a round ticket is 800 pounds so you're paying 800 pounds to watch zoo can flog lee wood because lee wood is well out of his debt ben davidson's out of his debt as a trainer anyway this is the night that ben davidson gets found out as a, as a supposedly top trainer Lee Wood gets flogged, Ben Davison makes excuses and says we've come a long way, setbacks pave the way for comebacks and even our Lee got beat, that's what's going to happen there, but Lee Wood against Zhu Khan headlining for £800 a ticket, hashtag game changed, I'm only telling the story aren't I, hashtag game changed, that's the way it is I'm afraid game changed now a lot of them that are going to be there tomorrow night are going to be all Eddie Ed's pals talking about resumes that my ultra tech impression resume they're going to be talking about resumes and Campbell Hatton can he win a world title and Connor Benz got Covid and he's going to be sadly missed the man that's not won an English title yet Although I think he's English level. Why don't you find them guys at British level? I mean, what sort of person just says, put, jumps in with world level? Says I'm world level now, I'm, Connor, I'm Nigel Ben's son. I don't get that, I don't get that. I don't know what the angle is there. He's a disaster waiting to happen, but good luck to him. But 800 quid a ticket, game changed, isn't it? This is now an elitist sport and I've been told they're looking to do loads more shows there because there's no money to pay out for arenas so get ready get ready it's now going to be a little posh little thing for the this new world order they're probably going to do probably three or four a year there they're going to keep charging 800 quid because if they get away with it once they've got a market for it so they're going to squeeze the average man on the street out you know the Joe Bloggs from, from Sheffield who's a steel worker on 500 a week with two sons who wants to go boxing he's going to have to go to Denny Sobson's white collar shows now isn't he? Do you know what I mean? Oh god Denny, let me, let me, let me which brings me to Dennis, my god Dennis is now putting tweets out saying there's a home for Kel Brook at fight so <laughs> oh god What's happening to you, Dennis? Dennis, what's happened to you? There's an height Kale Brooks gonna go on fight zone. <laughs> oh my god, imagine Kel on a ticket deal at fight zone. Unbelievable. This is where it comes home to roost, Dennis, this. When you're putting people on ticket deals, and then you want to sign somebody who's just been in with Crawford, they're gonna ask about and they're gonna people are gonna go, fucking Dennis, ticket deal. Good luck with that one, Den. Uh, Shannon Courtney's not fighting, so I don't think she'll be missed, will she? She was ranked number eight, she fought somebody number nine for a vacant belt. How's that work? So you get to number eight and then you fight number nine for a vacant belt. Is that where women's boxing is heading? Whatever, whatever happened to like Frotch and Pascal, number one and number two fighting for world title? No, we don't do it like that with women's boxing. We put number eight and number nine together. That's the way we like it. Oh my God. You couldn't make that up, could you? I can't believe what I see sometimes. It makes my job so much easier doing this. This is so much easier for me to do this. Just look at sifting through all this bullshit. I'm making a career out of bullshit, if you could call it that. No, not a career. I'm making, I'm making gags and having a laugh. Ah, oh, the utter rubbish, isn't it? It's... I don't know what to say, really, to be honest. Let me just pull up here, because he's up my arse, I and mean, it's a white car, but it's old Bill. Yeah, fucking Audi Q5, man. Bit paranoid there, wasn't I? Uh... Oh, God. Go on, then, in your Mondeo. Skoda. Uh, Dillian White's taking legal action against the WBC. Is this 
re-record not fade away or recycled crap. I think we've heard all this before, haven't we? Dillian White, the car, the can man. Anybody who wants it can get it as long as the shite, like Malcolm Tan, Lucas Brown, or over 40, or this Franklin, Jermaine Franklin, is it? God, he's poo, him, isn't he? Poo. What's a poo? But Dillian White, now they're, they're saying he's suing WBC. Let me tell you this, Dillian White. When Mick Hennessy were getting dicked about by WBC and Frank Warren years ago and Carl Zaggy, for the Froch Carl Zaggy fight, because Froch were manager, Mick just served papers on WBC and Carl Zaggy vacated on the last day. The last day, how wrong is that? Now, when he were getting messed about, when Howard Eastman were ready to fight Hopkins, he served papers, didn't he? Mick Hennessy serves papers. He served papers on Carl Froch when he left him and got paid out outside. And Carl settled out of court. So Tyson Fury left him. Tyson settled out of court for big money, a pair of them. This is what happens when you mess people about. Dillian White's not served so much as a Dunkin' Donut on anybody yet. He's just poppycock. It's utter rubbish. Dillian White, if you've served papers on WBC, let's see them papers on social media. Stop chatting shit. Shit chatters yet again. Paying lip service to people because for years Eddie earn has been paying lip service to Dylan White. He's been paying your lip service, Dylan. You should have done this a long time ago if you were manager, but I don't really think that you were. I don't really think you were, so you should have done it a long time ago if you was. And if you've been this man who's been avoided and robbed of this title shot why weren't you doing it three year ago Dylan hey, you've got money you've had six pay-per-views you've got money you can do it you just instruct your lawyers you got you're surrounded by pricks and all these people that are hanging out the back of you just serve papers mate I've I've sued people in past and won I've sued a previous landlord I took him to court Northwood in Doncaster we held my bond when I lived in uh, Warms with Mews next at Moat House. We've held my bond, I just put them in court, they didn't even turn up. There you go. I could get in that G wagon and pull myself a 22 year old. Because they're not looking at me, they're looking at the motor. Oh, he's got a few quid. He's uh, He can provide a bit of security. And they will blow you off all night long. And they paid costs. So, what you do, you go see a solicitor, right? And then you serve papers. And then they pay your costs. That's what you do, Dylan. But you've got a lot more money than I've ever had. So what you do, Dylan, is you go and sue them and then you put it on your Twitter. Suing WBC, there you go, guys. Or just show it to somebody from boxing scene like Cliff Rolled and he'll put it out there or show it Rob Tebbett. Rob Tebbett loves things like that. Show it Rob Tebbett. Ooh. The old road here, mate. Been all digging roads up all over, aren't they? Doing me head in. It's no good if you've got Low, if your car's low, is it? Knocks hell out of it. Uh, go show it Rob Tebbett, Dylan. Rob Tebbett loves out like that. Show it Tebbett, Norman Tebbett, and Rob Tebbett can say, yes, confirmed, I've seen it, and he can put it on Boxing Social and have a scoop. And then we can all say, well, Dylan White's doing WBC about time. But until that, Dylan, it's just, just paying lip service to the fans and bluff and counter bluff. Eddie Hearn's played you like a cheap fiddle for years now. You're Joshua's backup guy, that's all you are, mate. Joshua's go-to guy, that's all you are, mate. You're in Joshua's shadow, he flogged you once, you bottled second fight. You fight old man, you're embarrassing. In fact, I don't want to talk about you, Dylan White. Dylan White's so it beat WBC, what, yet again? Unbelievable. Uh, Daz on launch, we've covered that. White Franklin, we've covered that. Uh, so what? I forgot that, I know. Memory's going, I think. That's about it, really. Uh, I think I'm going to go get some petrol. But, uh, fuck, no. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to get some on way back. Not doubling back to double back. So that's about it, really. Uh, what do I think about the show? I think it's sort of garbage. I think the f they're trying to find a niche. Boxing is trying to find itself, and Eddie Earns is making it an elitist sport. If he can squeeze two or three of these 800 quid ticket shows and his garden a year, it's money for all rope, isn't it? 
It's one he is going to pocket in his pocket. He's not bothered about a platform because when push comes to push, they'll just go, go set their own platform up, won't they? That's what they'll do with match them. They're not bothered about Sky or anything like that. They're just out to get as much money in as they can. They could bail out of boxing at any time. When Joshua's gone, you know, they'll probably go then. They will probably go when Joshua's gone. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, isn't it, I'm afraid? That's just the way the cookie crumbles. It's boxing, isn't it? It's the wild, wild west. But some of the people that saw that the zone launch were just the same old people high-fiving and backslapping. And it's like become like it's become like the new little cult. And you know what I missed about it? I miss Johnny Nelson and being there. And Juggy and Spencer Oliver, they're on outside looking in now, aren't they? I missed that, but Spencer, Juggy as Oliver's a Bean man, isn't it? So he'll go where Bean goes, but Bean's got no pull at Sky now. Bean's no pull at Sky now, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Because uh, a lot of these people that might not be working at Sky no more, they've all had loads of failed businesses. Loads, and they're not businessmen. The boxers that do a bit of arse licking to get out media. And without the media, what are they going to do? They're not all like Carl Froch, are they, with 20 million bank? You know what I mean? They're not like the Cobra. You know, they can't fall back on having, I don't know, 25, 30 houses. Probably all paid for. Carl won't get any interest on Doe, will he? He's a businessman, hard nosed. They're not like the Cobra. Multi souffle swimming in Chochai, are they? Two Ferraris in garage and a Range Rover on drive needing washing. Now, are they heck? They've got to hula hoop. Look at that here, first one here. Look at that here, first one here and last one out. Dedication. Hard work, dedication. But, uh, interesting to see what's gonna happen with Coogs. Coogs, heard something about you yesterday, Coog. It's gonna be interesting to see what decisions you make in the next four week. Oh wow, the mighty have fallen. Hey, I think a lot of people are coming round to the old, uh, a lot of people are coming around to the old what what pork pork. They're coming around to the old pork now. What I say, it's going to be very interesting to see what's happening. Uh, I'm going to be doing a video with somebody who's been on a podcast for over ten years. We're going to be doing it beginning of next week. That's going to be very interesting. I'm going to be doing the questions for that today. That's why I'm here at quarter past eight. A bit of a late one for me today. But a uh, bit of a lie-in after Manchester yesterday. Uh, so, but I don't think it's looking good, all this Dazon thing. What, how I look at it at the moment, I think 199 is really, really good, though, so that's good value, so well done, Eddie Earn. But how I look at it at the moment is, I think that... I think the papering over the cracks, that's what I think. The, the pa papering over the cracks and doing the best that they can, but everything seems a little bit forced and sort of like dressed up. It's like polishing a turd, isn't it, really? What are they doing with Canelo Alvarez? What what seems to be happening with him at the moment? It, it, it's all a bit... That's all a bit messed up, isn't it? The Canelo Alvarez, the Canelo Alvarez situation. Uh, what, what's happening there? Can't, can't Eddie Earn deliver for Canelo Alvarez? Eh? Tell you what, this not drinking and not taking drugs thing, it's a good thing, isn't it? So thank you for Mick Whale, my friend and mentor, for giving me some great advice. Uh, I'll be calling down there today for some healthy eating meals from... Uh, Young Dempsey, fantastic them, DNA meals from from Dempsey Whale, it's a Mickey's Kitchen at Brampton Brillo, fantastic food, really really good, well, they've, worked, they've helped me haven't they, but I cut them meals into three, so if I get ten, ten carbonara chicken, uh, they're, they're, uh, they're for my mate, but if I get ten meals, which you know, many times I've had them, I cut whatever meals I get into three. Shredded beef, that's nice, with rice. Uh, chicken, organic chicken in peated red, that's nice. Some of the meals are fantastic, but I cut them into three. 
because as human beings we overeat I know that I'm the last person to say that considering I used to be 28 stone but now look at me but uh, but yeah getting back to the Canelo Alvarez situation I think that uh, Eddie's struggling to deliver I think Eddie's struggling to deliver for him but Eddie will have been behind the scenes pulling all the pulling all the strings saying yeah go speak to whoever you want trying to play it cool but really devastated if Canelo leaves him devastated same goes for the Kellogg, Kellogg plant uh, Al Heyman's not going to put it not going to uh, let him fight Canelo if it's on Dazon is it? it's going to be want to be on his platform Eddie won't be getting nothing out of it why he'd say that I don't know I know boxing Eddie and I know people in the game who've spoke to people that I know and told me I've heard back and I've heard back you're not getting no out of that Eddie so why make shit up like that trying to make out that you're cool you know I mean? you've got to understand Denny uh, Eddie, uh, uh, you've got to understand that when I was with Dennis a lot of people who Dennis did business with back in the day when he had Clinton were talking people in America and that I got to know him and email him and stuff like that so I did my own work while I was there and I get to hear things and I can assure you Eddie you are getting no out of Canelo Plant if they fight on on PBC on a PBC show you are getting nixes you're getting as much as you're getting as much as Perry Howe gets when he fights Denny Sobson <laughs> which I could probably find in my change in my Astra here which I use for a bit of change in case I have to put tyre pressure <laughs> nixes you get nixes, but uh, it is what it is, isn't it? But uh, moving on to uh, more exciting things. No, uh, oh. is John Fuchs going to fight Nav Mansouri? Is Anthony Tomlinson going to fight Nav Mansouri? I don't know, but I'd like to see them. I'd like to see them fights. I'd like to see Anthony Tomlinson and John Fuchs fight. I think that's a good fight. One undefeated kid against somebody coming back. Two Sheffield kids. I like stuff like that. So if Dennis can put fights on like that, good on you, Dennis. You're having to think on your feet. So good on you. But you're not be getting no decent PR off me unless you pay, Dennis. You got to pay to play now. I'm only joking, Dennis. Look, I hope you like the billboard. Uh, you'll not be getting another one up because knowing you, Dennis, you're probably loving it. But uh, I've given you a bit of PR, Dennis, a little bit of PR, but it goes to show what you are, Dennis, a bottle job. Because if you're not putting white collar shows on, Dennis, if you're not putting white collar shows on, what is that that you put on? What are these that you're putting on? Come on my channel on Porky's Corner, Dennis, and answer some boxing questions and show me that these are not white collar because I've got the lists of all of them. All of the people who've debuted, all of them, Dennis, have got the lists. And I know quite a few that are waiting for medicals that are that, who is it, fighters, your mate, Dennis. So if these are not white, white collar fighters, Dennis, this information that I've got that's online that everybody can look at must be rubbish then. So by you not coming on Porky's Corner, Dennis, it must mean that you're serving up white collars. Especially all these that are debuting. And Perry Howe are a white collar, one. No against that. No against it. There's no against white collar. But don't make out that you're putting on top notch shows, Dennis. Garbage. Utter garbage. And then tweeting. Saying Kel there's, a, the, the, there's an home for Kel Brook at Fight Zone. I bet Kel Brook fell out of bed eating a pizza when he's read that. But you're using your initiative, Dennis, which is more than you did when I were there. So well done. All right, anyway. Bit of training now, we'll get this out for Saturday. Alright. Peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. Don't have nightmares, don't forget the button don't forget to hit the button below on your computers, not your iPads or i or not your iPhones. Hit the members area. Because next month you're gonna get another ten videos. 59p a video. You can tell the way I'm dressed today. Don't give a shit about no, not bothered. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Do I care? Look at them. Flip flops. Got to pay for production for helmets, aren't you? Super helmets. We're going to film the super helmets on Tuesday, and it'll be out Wednesday next week. 
super helmet. So get your votes in. Dennis, you've already had votes for uh, for super helmets. I mean, Jesus. There's a home for Kel Brook at Fight Zone. God, how the mighty have fallen. Kel Brook will be he'll be traumatised with that. I mean, what is it? What is that, Dennis? A retirement home oh, now. You've got John Fuchs come back. You've got Dave Allen's being dug up. You, you're trying to get Kel Brook on board. Oh my God. Somebody must be whispering in your ear that Ka Amir Khan will fight Kel Brook. Oh my God. Unbelievable. But Dennis, if you pulled Kel Brook off against Amir Khan... I would tip I would tip my hat to you. But but we all know that it's about five years past its sell by day, don't we? But who am I to criticise Dennis was putting shows on in the car parks anyway? But Dennis. We're still waiting to come on Porky for you to come on Porky's corner, Dennis, via Zoom and answer these questions about what you've been serving up. You know this white collar. Because that's what it is, isn't it, Den? White collar. Alright. <laughs> What you want to I had a dream about Sheena Easton last night, you know. Remember her, Sheena Easton. Whew. Peace out. It's nearly this, it's nearly that. Yeah, we're getting there. You're getting nowhere. They're getting nowhere, Andy. Nowhere fast. <clears throat> Quick shout out to uh, the beautiful boxing podcast, or is it Beyond Boxing, my uh, good friend Terry Chapman Dharma's podcast. Uh, you should all give it a watch and Boxing Asylum Sunday night at 8pm Ultra Tech Sports uh, YouTube they're the three channels that I listen to alright have a great weekend